Good day everyone. Today I want to introduce to you the use of animate nouns in the accusative case. In order to do this, first I will tell you the noun in the nominative case and then I will tell you the noun in the accusative case. And after that I will give you the explanation. We will begin from the masculine nouns. The first word will be brat, meaning brother. Brat. It's the nominative case, brat. And in the accusative case, the noun will be brata. Brata. As you see from the example, the nominative case answers the question who, kto, who, kto, brat, brother, brat. In the accusative case, this noun answers the question whom, koho, whom, koho. And the answer is brata, brother, brata. As you see, the ending here is a, a. And usually, in most of the cases with the masculine noun, a is the ending here in the accusative case. Let's see the other examples. The next example will be the word friend, which is in Ukrainian друг. It's the nominative case. Friend, друг. In the accusative case, it will be друга, друга. And as you see, the ending here again is a. Let's see other words. Svechennik, meaning priest. Svechennik. In the accusative case, it will be Svechennika. Svechennika. And again, you see here the ending is a. One more word. Journalist, meaning journalist. Journalist. In the accusative case, it will be Journalista. Journalista. And again, here ending is a. Also note that if the masculine noun, animate noun, ends in a soft sign, the ending in the accusative case will be ya. So, to demonstrate this example, I will tell you another word, uh, animate noun, it's uchitel, meaning teacher, uchitel, and as you see here, the ending is soft sign and in the accusative case it will be учителя учителя so as you see here the ending is ya in the accusative case ya now let's get down to the feminine animate nouns in ukrainian in the accusative case the animate feminine noun usually ends in u Let's see the main principle here. Podruha, meaning female friend. Podruha. In the accusative case, it will be podruhu. Podruhu. And as you see from this example, a from the nominative case is dropped out and letter u is added. Let's see other examples. Dochka, meaning daughter. Dochka. In the accusative case, it will be dochku, dochku. Another word is sestra, meaning sister, sestra. In the accusative case, it will be sestru, sestru. And again, in this rule, there is a slight exemption. If a noun in the nominative case ends in the letter ya, in the accusative case, it will end in U. Let's see the example. Uchenitia, meaning a female pupil. Uchenitia. As you see, the ending here is ya. And in the accusative case, it will be uchenitsu. Uchenitsu. As you see, the ending again changes here and it is U. U. Now, let's see the plural form of the animate nouns in the accusative case. 
in masculine. The ending will be Eve. Let's see the example. Brati, meaning brothers. Brati. In the accusative case of the plural form, it will be Brakiev. Brakiev. Ucheteli, meaning teachers. Ucheteli. In the accusative case of the plural form, it will be Ucheteliv. Ucheteliv. And again, as you see here, the ending is Ev. Regarding feminine plural in the accusative case, here the rule is very simple. The ending is usually eliminated in the accusative case of plural form of feminine. But there are several specific internal rules which I will explain later. Podruhe, which means female friends. Podruhe. In the accusative case, it will be podruh. Podruh. As you see, the ending here is dropped out. Now let's see the other word, uchenetia. And in the plural form, it will be uchenetsi. And in the accusative case, it's going to be uchenets. So as you see here, uh, the ending was e, and in the accusative case, we dropped it out and added a soft sign. If there is a combination of several consonants, in the end of the word. We insert either E or O letters in between them in the accusative case. Let's see the examples. Sestri, meaning sisters. Sestri. And in the accusative case it will be Sester. Sester. Try to apply these rules with the other words you learned in the previous lessons. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to write me or comment.